Hi everyone, this is Morgan. I'm your teacher for Studio Concepts this semester. And in this video, I'm going to show you the bones, at least, of our course website so you can get really well acquainted with it. It is our main tool for the semester, so it's really important that you can navigate it and know where to look for important information. So here's our homepage. Um, the most important part of the home page is really this course calendar. And we've talked about this a little bit more in class, but the course calendar does more than just remind you to show up every Tuesday and Thursday night um, at 5.30 p.m. If you click on Studio Concepts, the actual title for any given day, you can see what our general plan is. So you can see what's due, what we're lecturing on, um, what readings are assigned, so that can be hugely helpful. For a lot of you, this is going to be enough. Um, just have that extra reminder. But if you ever want to add this to your personal Google account, you can get regular reminders about what's due. Um, for a lot of students who aren't great with deadlines, that's hugely helpful. So you can click Add to Google Calendar at any point to do that and just say, yes, add this calendar. I'm not going to do that now, but that's how easy it is. So. Apart from the course calendar, you just get a reminder about how to contact me. Um, and again, I list my office hours as by appointment because I don't hold them regularly, but please feel like you can contact me whenever um, you need to. This course is very self-directed, so um, some of you may never need to do that. Some of you may want to do that several times throughout the semester. So after our home page, we have our syllabus page. And the syllabus page really only has one thing, which is a Google Doc embedded that has our course syllabus. So you'll probably get used to the way that Google Sites works and the embeds really quickly. But if you ever don't want to see this view, if for whatever reason the scrolling or just the size gets really annoying, you can always click on this icon in the top right of any window to expand. Um, and to see a different view. So this can be hugely helpful. Well, it is hugely helpful in navigating our course website. So I'm going to close out of that. The projects pages. So these are the real kind of heavy lifters of our course website. So I'm going to click on project one. And this, depending on your internet connection, can take a while to load. Um, if you go down, you'll see why, just because of the number of embeds. We have at the top just the description of the project, making time visible. I give you some basic dates and deadlines so you can start planning out your project. Um, and then I also list all the assignments under Project 1. Project 1 has six different written assignments in addition to the studio work. So this page is your way of keeping track of those things. So you've got the reading, which is the first assignment. You've got these Google Forms assignments, the research journal, and brainstorming, which are really just meant to help you plan. And once you finish these, by the way, whenever you visit these pages from your account, whenever you're signed into your Emish account, you should see that they're completed. So that'll be a nice way of remembering. I also remind you of what needs to be posted on your personal class site, and in the next video I'll show you how to set that up. But for the reading and for this intent statement and for the following assignments, you'll notice that I say on your personal class site post whatever that particular assignment is. So the site may even be more built out. I'm doing this video in the summer, but at the bottom I also have reminders of work that we've looked at, stuff I think will be especially helpful to think about when you're doing project one. So after the projects pages, we have the grades page. And this is where um, things could potentially get tricky if you're not signed into your Emish account. So I've made this site public just so it's really easy to access everything. But the grade sheet, if you're not signed into your Emish account, if you click on this, it's not going to let you see anything. And that's just to protect your grades. So hopefully, by the time you're looking at this, you're able to see 
somewhere over here your EID, so that's what keeps everybody's grades protected. It's not just everyone's name here followed by your grade, it's an EID. So you'll be able to see the current points that have been available, how many points you've gotten, and your running percentage. So you can keep track that way. So that's how the grades page is going to work. And really the biggest mistake, or the easiest mistake to make, is not being signed into your EMU account. I also include a project grading rubric, which could be expanded, just to remind you how the projects are graded. Your projects are 80% of your grades, so this is really um, good to review, just to remember how points are awarded, how everything works, all that good stuff. So after grades, we have the resources page. And this will definitely be more built out by the time you all see it, but. So far, I've got just a general PSA about the Foundation's portfolio review, a reminder about the writing resources, um, and some resources for working on the site as well. The links is completely empty right now, but that's where you'll see links to everyone else's personal course website. So you can not only refer to this big main class website, you can also see what other students in our class are doing on their personal sites. So that is a quick tour of our Google site. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make your own class website, which is a lot easier than you think.